Good morning. Uh, today is the day I am uh, on full attack on getting these stocks uh, cashed out and I eventually had to call my old work. Actually I did it all by email. So and they had the answer and I knew they had the answer I was just trying to avoid uh, doing that but um, they've been very nice and sent me paperwork I needed and uh, the information I needed to uh, fill it out so it's still taking me all day to do it, trying to get all the information, to fill out the paperwork, and I still have to mail it in, which really, 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 I don't like. So once I finally get it all done and ready to mail, I'm going to make sure that I have copies of everything, and um, I'm going to send it uh, certified and registered and make sure that they don't get lost in the mail. So that's my day that's the whole day maybe I'll get something else done but that's what's going on right now I'm just sitting in front of the computer and filling out paperwork and of course entertaining boomer that's my full-time job here okay so finally got dressed on my way to the post office now to mail off my stock certificates um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to insure it for $15,000 because uh, they're worth $15,000. I hope that doesn't cost me a lot of money, but there is no way I'm just going to let that slide through uh, uh, USPS with their track record and uh, have them just lose that much money on me. So I will insure it. And I will probably try and overnight it so I can get the response, the tracking response immediately. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I have to go to the store. The store because I still think Freckles is constipated. So I did a little online research. And uh, the one thing that um, I think I can do at home that's not going to be a problem is uh, give him some um, pumpkin. Uh, it supposedly uh, has enough fiber in it to get him going, supposedly, and it's not going to harm him in any way. There's other, other people say use milk of magnesia, but I don't know how much to use, and everything says consult your doctor, consult your doctor. Uh, I don't have the money to consult my doctor. So we're going to try the pumpkin. Probably it's pie filling stuff, I hope, and hopefully he likes the taste of it. Hey guys, so I'm going to have my mom tell you three short stories about some stuff from her past. Here she is. Hi everybody, I'm busy doing chores in the kitchen, making dinner. However, I'll tell you a couple stories. Uh, first one is, I knew my husband's mother way before I knew him. And she had a picture in her wallet of him and I, he was really a handsome, handsome guy. So I took the picture. So I carried his picture around way before I even met him. And by coincidence, I did meet him and we got married. We dated for, well, I met him when I was uh, almost 16. We married when I was 18, and I had my first child at 19, and we've been married for 53 years already. Three girls, no boys. And I have that picture at home, so I'm going to have Kevin look for it and have him insert it here. Okay, so I just left the post office and um, 
I couldn't insure it for its value because I can't afford what they wanted. They want almost $100 per thousand, so that would be about $1,500 to insure it for $15,000. So, it's insured for fifty. dollars I'm going to get a, I make copies of everything, so, and I will get a, a um, confirmation of delivery. So, yeah. So it's in New York, so it's not like I could walk it in. So on my way to Walmart now to uh, look for something to um, go straight through freckles, some pumpkin, and uh, maybe I'll get myself something to eat. Got stuff at home, but it's getting kind of boring. Okay, another little story about me is when my grandkids always ask me how old I was. And I would always tell them, 30-something. So it got to the point where I had to pay them if somebody, if they said, somebody asked them me how old I was, the grandkids would have to say 30-something. And if they said that, I paid them. One time I paid my one grandson $20 for telling somebody I was only 30-something. Cost me quite a bit of money. But it don't work anymore because I'm 70 something at this point. <laughs> so. but, but you don't look a day over 30, Mom. Yeah, okay. 30 something. <laughs> I look more like 90 something at this point. <laughs> but that's a short, really short story about me paying my grandchildren. But they really liked it. And I paid them because I wanted to give them money anyway, so. They got the money and I got the story. I'm surprised, but they do have it. Pumpkin. So I hope the dog will actually eat it. So I'm trying to be a little sneaky. Giving him Freckles some little pieces of turkey. I usually put his pill in that, but he's been unwilling to eat it when I put the pill in it. He doesn't trust me anymore. So I got his bowl. What I'm going to do is put his food into the bowl, put a big dollop of pumpkin on top of it, and put the rest of that chicken on top of that and see if he'll eat it that way. Not interested in the pumpkin? Pumpkin is not doing it for you, huh? Well, I'll leave it there and see what happens. So, okay, we got another story about... I was playing basketball with my oldest daughter in the driveway. We had a net up top by the garage, so I was playing basketball. And I went and got the ball and held it in front of me in a bent over position. And my daughter came up behind me, knee, put her knee up to my butt and broke my tailbone. Needless to say, that was extremely, extremely painful. I, if I had to go to the bathroom, I would tell my neighbor, when I yell, please don't come in, it's just me with the pain. But uh, yeah, she did a good job on my tailbone, but there's nothing they could do for that, so I just, it healed itself. Oh, and Valerie was downstairs playing darts with her girlfriend. And all of a sudden, her girlfriend comes upstairs and she says, Valerie needs you. I said, why? I can't go down, I hurt myself. So... I made it downstairs, and there stands Valerie with her finger on top of the water pipe. She threw a dart, and it hit the water pipe, and water was coming out of it. Well, needless to say, my husband threw a major fit because he had to go down and fix it at, right away because there was water all over the place. But that she was playing darts and hit the wrong target. <laughs> We decided we wanted to uh, shoot the darts at anything but the dartboard because we were bored. So, so there you have it. Some stories from my mom. <laughs> okay. All kids jump on the bed at one time or another, and of course you're told not to do it. However, they don't listen. So she was jumping on the bed banged her head on the bed. On the nightstand. On the nightstand and went and got a pretty good sized cut in the back of her head. 
However, she didn't want to tell me because she wasn't supposed to be jumping on the bed. So therefore, I don't know how I noticed that or Karina told her, you. My daughter, her sister squealed on her, and I looked at her head because she wasn't going to show me. And by Lord, should I had to take her to the hospital? She needed stitches. I don't remember how many stitches five. she had. Five stitches. Mm -hmm. I can't remember all that. I'm glad you can. <laughs> and uh, that's what she gets for jumping on the bed. She tried to hide it from me, but. She was squealed on, thank God, because otherwise she would have probably bled to death during the night. <laughs> and I would have had to clean the bed. <laughs> the important things. <laughs> yeah, that comes first. Don't take care of the body. So kids, when your parents say, don't jump on the bed, don't, don't jump, jump on the on bed. bed. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below and follow along with us. And please share this video with your family and friends because we got some more stories and a lot more excitement coming your way. Bye.